Welcome back to another episode of Blazed Outlaw Builders. But, excuse me. Today I have a different version. Uh, let's see. If you remember, I did this base uh, entrance here. And this one, if a zombie comes into the uh, front of it here, the door, the shutter doors will close, the garage doors will close and cover the opening. And I used Jaw Woodle's um, force field around the sides. So they naturally will uh, try to go around that. They get around that, they get to about to this point. And then they stand here and beat on these bars. So, and, and while they're within view of the camera, those doors close. And you could now you could put a, a gun up there as well. I usually do if I use that version in a real in a server world or something. <coughs> I'll put a gun up there to take out the zombies and the doors open back up. You never really have to worry about zombies coming into the base. So I've got another version of that, uh, thanks to Jaw Woodle, where the doors stay shut, or rather they stay in the open state, which is shut, and. Uh, when the camera sees you, they open up. However, it's a pretty unpredictable and uh, unstable circuit. So they, they open up, they go down inside, around the corner, they close. Because we're outside, out of the range of the camera. They close. And then when we come back up here, they open back up. And out you go. So the way this works is you have two different battery banks. Ignore the switch. It's not actually needed for the circuit. This battery bank has a level one battery in it. This battery bank has a level five battery. In it. So this one is putting out 29 watts maximum. This one puts out 45 watts maximum. So the idea is to overload the circuit with too much stuff so that the uh, when the cameras are engaged, it goes, oh, nope, we need this other battery too. And that's what changes the state of the doors. So on the pack that has the, the level 5 battery, I wired up three lights, one there, one inside there, one there, and one out there. And that uses up uh, 21 watts. And I wired all four doors to that same battery pack, and that takes another 20 watts. So that's 41 watts uh, being pulled out of this battery pack, leaving only three watts. Now, the cameras take five watts each. So every time a camera is engaged, that puts this battery pack over overwhelmed and, and, and starts pulling out of this. So this battery pack, it's wired to all four doors and these three lights. And then this one goes from this battery pack with the lower battery in it to the inside camera and then from the inside camera to the outside camera. And then from the outside camera back to this battery pack. I have no idea why this works, how it works. I do know that it's not overly stable. So one thing is, is if the batteries start losing too much power, especially the, the level five battery, if it loses too much power, then having the three lights is actually too much and the other battery pack can't um, accommodate it. So, I got this from Jawoodle, uh, of course. Dude is brilliant. Um, he figured out and I made a video on how to wire this up. But his video was mm, difficult to follow the process. It was very, very difficult to follow. And even he says it is. It's hard to explain it. Um, it's hard to show it when it's all, half of it's all buried in here, you know. And so... I spent several hours figuring it out and 
I went up here right into the back of my 4x4 that, that's brilliant driving there okay so I set it up over here so that you can see all the wires so as you can see I got the same setup here this battery pack has a level 1 in it this battery pack has a level 5 in it three lights Tried it with four lights, fourth light was too much, so I got three lights. And need to that back. Yeah, anyway. So the way you wire this up is you take the battery pack that has the level five battery in it, wire it to all three lights and all four doors. And we went to the battery pack that had the level one battery in it and we wired it to the inside uh, motion sensor then we went over here and we wired it to the outside motion sensor and then from there we wired it back to the level six battery pack and at first the circuit was working and then i noticed that when the batteries start losing power when they start going dead it stops working so I hooked up this uh, solar bank to it, and I still can't get it to start working again. It makes the sounds, but the doors aren't. This is why I say it's a very unstable circuit. You'd have to have you have to have the solar panel hooked up to it, just like I did over here. I do have a solar panel hooked up to the battery packs over here, and this one works just fine. They're hooked up exactly identically the same, but this one works, and the, that one over there has n is no longer working. Turn my little ass around here. Come up here, doors open. Come out of the range of the camera, doors close. Doors open. Doors close. It's beautiful. It works great when it's working. Um, if you let the batteries go dead even a little bit, it stops working. Uh, it does require a little bit of math. So normally I will make these entrances much longer like that one over there so probably three doors I mean probably uh, you know a total of six doors or even sometimes a total of eight doors in which case you're gonna need to add more batteries so you have more wattage going out um, change the amount of lights you're using etc takes a little bit of math to figure out uh, how many batteries you need and how many extra um, how many extra items you need drawing on those batteries to give them just the right amount of wattage to continue working. If they go dead, they stop working, which is, which means this will not work in, uh, say, the wasteland if you're trying to run it off of a solar panel, or days that are cloudy, or at night when it's dark. Those solar panels aren't going to work anymore, and when that happens, um, uh, the batteries are going to go dead or start to go dead. Changes the wattage they're putting out, changes the wattage they're putting out, doors no longer function. So it's not a particularly stable circuit. It's a reversible electrical circuit, <coughs> indeed. Uh, but the game was never designed to work this way. These, these doors were not designed to open this way. There is no functionality in this game for reversible circuits so <clears throat> because of that uh, because it has to be kind of jury rigged together like this it's not a reliable circuit